Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and in this video, we're gonna break down the Climb AI-1 airbag vest available at Revzilla.com. So what you're gonna see is the newest airbag vest on the market from Climb. Now there's gonna be a couple of key differences here from other airbag vests that we're taking a look at. The main difference is gonna be the pricing structure. So the price for the vest comes in around the $400 to $430 mark. That $430 is if you have to bump up to the 3XL. Once you get the vest itself, you then have to actually register the vest via an app with the company in and motion. That is who's designed the vest in correlation with Climb. Now I say this because when you register, you have to either then pay for a one-time use fee of $400, which puts the total price up to 800, or what you do is you do a subscription-based program for $12 a month. But the beauty of doing the subscription app base is that anytime there's an update to the, the firmware on the mechanism, it automatically updates itself as long as you're hooked up to a Wi-Fi network. So when you bring the vest in at the end of a ride, if there is an update, it automatically updates for you. So you're constantly getting the newest technology as it's available for the algorithms in the little computer on the back. So again, the too long didn't read here is you're looking around the $400 price point for the vest, but then expect to pay about an extra 120 bucks a year if you go with the subscription service to make sure that it is working. And you do need that app register before you go out and ride in it. So do not open this up, throw it on, go for a ride and throw yourself over the handlebars thinking it's gonna protect you unless you have registered it with the app. Now, let's break down some of the basics. Sizing will range from a small up to a 3XL. Zach on my left hand side, he is tall, he is lanky. We won't call him scrawny, but he's a slender gentleman. He stands at six foot one, weighs in around 175 pounds, has a 40 inch chest. He's wearing this in a medium. You're gonna see it fits him extremely slim and firm. This is how you want it to be. You don't want this loose on your body. Now, the one thing to note here is that this is designed to be worn under any jacket. You can wear it under a climb jacket, you can wear it under another brand, any brand that you have, but if you are wearing a very aggressive race cut leather style jacket where it is nice and tight against the body, this might not fit comfortably underneath. You wanna have a jacket that has a little bit of room to it, especially considering once this thing expands, you're gonna have air chambers that run up the chest, over the collarbone, and then down the back. So again, you just wanna make sure that while the sizing for this is gonna correlate very nicely with climb size chart, you want a nice, nice uh, tight, slim fit, but the jacket that you're wearing underneath should have a little bit of room to it, otherwise it might be uncomfortable. Now, the material of the vest itself is gonna be a stretch textile, that's all the light gray, and then you are gonna have a 3D mesh to help promote airflow in the warmer months. For any of the air pushing through from the jacket on top of it, it just helps to keep you cool. Now, let's have Zach face backwards for me, because all the technology that we're really talking about, go ahead and face straight back for me, there you go, perfect. Now, all the technology that we're talking about is right here. So what you'll notice is that, just looking at the back of this, you are gonna have this little piece that can be removed. And ours says demo on it because this is one of the pre-production models, but you can actually pull this out. There's an on and off switch. You can take this inside to charge it. And it takes about three hours to give you a full charge on standby, not actively being used. And it has an algorithm inside, so it tells when you're the rider is in motion. So it will systematically change between standby and active on its own. Um, on standby, it'll last up to 15 days. In active use while riding, you're gonna get about 20 hours of use time before it needs another charge. And like I said, three hours before you get a complete charge out of this. Now, the back protector itself is gonna be a CE1 back protector. When we talk to Climb about this, the idea is that in the event of a crash, the airbag deploys and it bumps you up to CE level two protection, but you are gonna have a back protector on the inside of this, which is CE level one. Now, to get at the cartridge system, you would open this all up. Now, ours is plugged in, so you can open this all up, but what you'll see is a little plug right there and it goes into the canister. Now the main difference that we're gonna see with the climb is that it's gonna use a CO2 argon mix for the canister. What I really like about this that we haven't seen with all the other manufacturers is that it's, it's got a little special spot that's on the outside of the back protector. A lot of the other ones that we've seen from the cartridges, they actually sit against the skin, they have, or sit against the, the material of the jacket itself. They're not behind the back protector. And the way that I see that in a lot of cases, it can actually cause some additional harm the way that they're positioned. So I really like the fact that Climb has put their canister 
on the back of the outside of the back protector, it's got a special little groove that it fits into. And then once that's in place, you're set to go. Now, from the canister's perspective, it's about $100 to replace the canister and you get multi-use out of this. So you can actually, what InMotion is saying is you can get three deployments out of it before you need to actually replace the garment. So if you do crash and it deploys, you just replace the canister, everything goes back to normal. You don't have to send it in to have it reactivated. You simply put a new canister in and you're set to go. So canister replacement, about a hundred bucks, and you can deploy this three times before you have to send it into InMotion and have it looked at or have it replaced. Looking at the computer on the back is this little pod which holds all the brains of the entire operation. You're looking at a thousand algorithms per second. When it deflates, it can detect a crash within 60 milliseconds of the crash happening, and it inflates within 25 milliseconds. And that 25 milliseconds happens within that 60 second or that 60 millisecond detection period. So very sophisticated technology and the fact that this regularly updates with the newest firmware automatically via a Wi-Fi connection is just part of that subscription service. Now you can take it out and you can manually update it as well. So if you're not running off of a Wi-Fi network, you can, uh, you can actually take this off and you can do that on your own as well. But this is a completely different style um, process than what we've seen from other manufacturers. Zach, you can go ahead and turn around and face forward for me. And really like what we talked about with the airbag protection, it's all the way up the top, around the collarbones, around the back of the neck, and then down the side. So anywhere that you see in gray, you are gonna be able to see how this looks. Now we can't inflate this and set it off um, right now live, but we have a pre-recording of this going off where you'll watch this actually as it inflates. And then what the main difference here too is, is that it actually holds the air in a little bit longer. So you have to then remove the cartridge and deflate the jacket itself. So unlike some of the other manufacturers which automatically start to deflate on their own, this helps you in case you're in a longer crash, you're tumbling, you're laying there. It just works to support your body a little bit better. Now, the one concern that I do have is that in addition to that $400 investment that you're gonna pay for the vest, you're then gonna be paying that regular subscription fee. Now, compared to some of the other prices that you're gonna see for airbag systems on the market, you would still have to pay for about three years of subscription before you get up to the initial investment cost. So I think the real benefit of the climb is that the initial investment cost is gonna be less. Long-term cost might run you a few more dollars, but the benefit that you're gonna see there is the fact that you're getting an algorithm that can be completely updated via a firmware system. So there's some pros and some cons with that, but I think when you're looking at all the new airbag systems on the market, this is definitely a different and innovative approach that we're seeing from Climb with the AI-1 airbag vest. Now, if you want more information from riders that are already out there using one of these systems, I would definitely recommend clicking the info button on your desktop or mobile device to read other rider reviews from folks that are already putting this through its paces. If you're not sure as to which airbag system is right for you, your riding style, whether you're on the track or the street, reach out to one of our gear geeks. They can walk you through all the different systems available to make sure you find the right one for you and your riding style. 877-792-9455 or simply shoot an email over to cs at revzilla.com. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the Climb AI-1 airbag vest. I'm Spurge. This is Lanky Zach. Enjoy the ride.